What's going on champs and champettes? It's FireMonkey here and in today's YouTube video we're going to be talking about the magical world of Wild Weeks. Now for those who are unfamiliar with the Wild Week, whether you're a new player from Fortnite or you're a very old player who's just now getting back into the game, at the end of every single season for the fat, like, you know, the final like two, three weeks of the game or whatever, they have a unique Wild Weeks happening for each week. This could be simple stuff from, you know, an item being unvaulted, putting it back in the loot pool for that week, or it can be other stuff such as, you know, animals being more wild per se animals being more hostile and aggressive and then of course typically with every single wild week it always ends off with the bargain bin week which is basically a week where all the NPCs have their wares and you know services discounted in order to incentivize players to you know spin their bars and everything before the new season begins because with every single season in Fortnite they go ahead and reset the bar counter all the way from the cap of 5,000 down to a smeasly you know zero bars so in today's YouTube video we'll be going over both of the wild weeks that will be happening this season sadly we only have two wild weeks but they are doing some interesting stuff this time around that makes it more worthwhile to anyone regardless of what level you might be in the game this means if you're a hardcore grinder over here like me that's level 299 or even above that you're going to be able to still benefit from the wild week and it's going to be something that makes you want to actually complete all those challenges whereas if you're someone who might just be level 10 or something in the game this is still a very good wild week for you so let's go ahead and start it off by talking about our first wild week here which is week 9, the Avian Ambush Week. This is a wild week that is returning from previous seasons, and this is actually one that relates to the magical world of chickens. Recently, with the most recent game update, there's been a lot of these different chicken coop areas added to the game, which are just, you know, little pins like we've had with boars and stuff before, for specifically the chickens. It's basically a nice way to find these locations, you know, get a nice little area effect where you're able just to grab multiple chickens at once, and they're planning this ahead of time, right? They're adding these different chicken coops to the game in order to make the upcoming wild week a lot easier because as you know if you're just running around like normal if you don't have a guaranteed chicken spawn then you're just kind of you know running around literally trying to look for a chicken just so you can complete one or two challenges for that extra xp for those extra rewards so that's one thing that they've done this update and that's kind of the reason for the change is because of the avian ambush wild week now regarding the challenges each challenge you do is going to give you 20,000 xp and something unique we're doing for this youtube video is down below right at the bottom of this video you're only going to see one challenge at a time it's going to slowly scroll through and change throughout all the challenges but we're doing this format just because I feel it allows you guys to see what the challenges are without blocking up the entirety of the screen right so with that said the challenges are pretty simple for avian ambush week we have the first challenge which is to catch three different chickens and it kind of means like in a different match right so you catch a chicken in one match you're done for that match catch a chicken in another match and you do that a total of three times in order to complete that challenge and get 20,000 XP the next challenge is to use a D launcher while holding a chicken. Now these are those new launchers that got added with the chrome season that directionally launch you somewhere, right? So if it's facing towards, I don't know, like, you know, towards the Herald Sanctuary area, then whenever you go on the D launcher, you'll be able to get launched that way. And actually there's one right up here. So it's these things right here, as you can see. Can I ping it? Not really. Okay. So I, I can't really ping it to show it off to you guys, but you just go on one of those with the chicken and you'll complete the challenge. Then we have to deal damage with a chicken peck. This one's going to be a little bit harder to do basically you have to hold a chicken in your hand and go up to an enemy to the point where the chicken will peck that enemy once you've done that you only have to do it one damage right only a tiny bit of damage you'll have completed the challenge and you'll be fine your next challenge is to actually throw 10 chickens, and I assume that since it doesn't track, like, have I thrown this specific chicken, you could throw one chicken 10 times, but in reality, you're just kind of tossing some chickens around, you know, making KFC go wild out in the Fortnite island. Next challenge is to return a chicken to a pin, so basically grab a chicken, go to one of those pins we talked about being added to the game, and put the chicken in the pin. Once you put them down in there, challenge completed, right? Super simple, super easy to do, and of course, with all these, they give you 20,000 XP. Then you have one to travel 300 meters while holding a chicken you know just grab a chicken start walking forwards or whatever and eventually you'll get that one super easy you'll be getting that one done while you do the other challenges and as we eliminate this bot right here let me go ahead and try grabbing the other ones for you um one of them is to fall four stories while holding a chicken so hold a chicken go somewhere like tilted towers you know somewhere where there's a giant tower in the sky and then just jump off you're not going to take fall damage because with the chicken you have a, like a slow falling effect so it's pretty simple then we have to hunt glowing loot chickens now this one is a 
harder one because you have to hunt a total of 20 of them but these are those loot chickens that you know have a different effect on them whenever you eliminate them you'll be able to actually gain loot from them now knowing how epic games has modified the game before i assume for the avian ambush wild week they're going to make those loot chickens a lot more common especially since you have to eliminate 20 of them right that's a really big number and then for our final two challenges you have to slide for 30 meters continuously while holding a chicken and you have to deal 200 damage to chickens once you've done all of these challenges you'll have gained a lot of xp and it's a super nice system but where it gets interesting is something that's happening for this wild week and the next wild week which is going to be for week 10 which is the bargain bin wild week you're seeing an image of the bonus stretch goals on screen right now for both of them but something that's very interesting to mention here is for both of them when you complete three challenges you get 40,000 xp right you get a decent amount of xp however when you complete five or seven challenges why whoa whoa okay sorry this lag is really throwing me off right now but when you complete uh five or seven of the challenges you will gain an entire level up regardless of how much xp you need to the next level so if i'm level 500 no matter how much xp i gain right if i do five of those quests from the avian ambush week i will be going to level 501 guaranteed and that will be available twice for each of the wild weeks meaning that if you do up to seven challenges each week you'll be able to have gained four levels guaranteed on top of all of that bonus xp you're gaining in fortnite so you're able just to go up and this is like really beneficial to those who you might want to like grind out you know chrome punk or anything like that it just is a super nice system and it's nice to see epic games still trying to innovate something as simple as the whole entire wild week system considering the fact that we've had wild weeks for the longest time now but with that said there's no better way to segue into the final wild week which is the bargain bin week than this video right here right this topic right now and right here so for the bargain bin wild week you have a lot of challenges relating to spending bars and of course just like the avian ambush week every challenge you do is going to give you 20,000 XP. Now, a majority of these challenges are super simple. We can blaze through them, right? Half of them are basically just spin bars. So the first stage is to spin 500 bars. The second stage is to spin 1,000 bars. The third stage is to spin 2,000 bars. The fourth stage is to spin 3,000 bars. And then finally, the fifth stage is to spend a total of 5,000 bars. Now, sadly, this doesn't work like previous ones where it would count the progress towards all of them. Once you've spent one, like 500 bars, then you have to spend an additional 1,000. Then you have to spend spend an additional 2,000, then an additional 3,000, and then an additional 5,000 for a total of around like, you know, 7,000, 8,000-ish bars. So it's not as easy as you might think. You're not going to be able to get it with a, a whole entire cap first try through. You're going to have to actually spin bars over multiple matches in order to complete all these challenges. But the other challenges are pretty simple as well. You know, they're just like open a safe, collect bars from eliminated players, complete bounties, collect bars in specific locations being tilted towers, sleepy sound, or cloudy con Windows, and then purchase an item from a character and a vending machine and a single match. So pretty much, you know, for the bargain men week, which is going to be the final week of the season, super simple stuff. You know, the hardest one might be to open a safe, but really when you think about it, you can just go to one of those two key vaults and they always basically guarantee a safe inside of there anyways. So the hardest challenge you're really going to struggle with when it comes to the bargain bin wild week, which is the final week of the season is literally just going to be, Hey, are you able to spend enough bars, right? Are you going to actually grind through everything in order to gain that XP and spend your bars and of course just like the other one when you complete three challenges you get 40,000 XP when you complete five challenges you get a guaranteed level up and then when you complete a total of seven challenges you get another guaranteed level up so in total you're looking at tons of XP for the next like final two weeks of the season you're looking at free level ups a total of four in total that are guaranteed for you no matter your level and it's just a nice way to kind of kick off the end of this chapter entirely but it is very interesting to see how we're getting very limited wild weeks weeks this time around right previously we would get like three wild weeks and we've seen stuff before where they would like bring bows back for a wild week or something like that and this time around they're both just rehash wild weeks from previous seasons and in fact i think these were basically the exact same two we got last season just without having a third week in there right it's just you know here's avian ambush have fun with chickens and then here's your bar mayhem so i want to know in the comments down below what do you think about the wild weeks this season even though there's less of them it feels like the rewards are more beneficial just because of those level up tokens 
so I would love to get a conversation started there over how could they improve Wild Weeks even more going into the new chapter, chapter 4, and everything like that. But with that said, if you stuck through to the end of today's YouTube video, hope you enjoyed it. The actual keyword for today, so you know you can put it in your main comment when you put it down there, is going to be pineapple pizza. I don't know why, but you know what? I thought it would be funny. Have a little keyword. See who made it all the way to the end of the video. And with that said, I'll see you champs and champettes tomorrow with another upload regarding some new Fortnite news and everything else. So peace out.